got no organization. I haven't got the organization can handle a bomb here, Walter. And people who do that won't do it. You know what our limitations are. You've been, you've been with them, and they ought to have the right to do it. And, and I think that I can hold this thing together. I don't believe there'll be uh, uh, many attacks on the orders I issue on Tonkin Gulf, and I'm not a candidate. And then I think the people can give the man that they want such a mandate that he might continue the good work we've done. And I don't know who it'd be. I expect it to be Bobby Kennedy and Hubert Humphrey or whoever they are. But uh, I believe they can get along with the Negroes better than I can. I, I, it's obvious to me that I haven't got the influence on them. Here at the crowning point in my life, when I need people's help, uh, I didn't get the loyalty of Ken O'Donnell and O'Brien, my attorney general anything like that, so I, I just think it, uh, that uh, I, uh, I don't see any reason why I ought to seek the right to uh, endure uh, uh, anguish that I, uh, that, I, that, that I do endure. I don't know why I want that right. Uh, people, I think, have a mistaken judgment. They think I want great power. And what I want is great uh, solace little love, that's all I want. You have a lot more of that. Well, I don't know. I don't. Uh, I looked at every paper this morning. The New York Times had a pallid platform that compromised instead of a, uh, convinced. And uh, Jimmy Breslin's column had uh, those two pictures that they put up for me. I never knew of it. I wish uh, I wish you didn't have a picture of me in the hall. But. Uh, it was the arrogance run wild, and I'm making every decision. Dave Lawrence uh, went in the room, ate up there, and called me here, and, uh, according to Herald Tribune. I didn't know he'd ever call me. I don't think he has. But uh, uh, I'm free. Uh, everything you said, I'm free. Uh, when he came in the other day, that's all outlined, what all he's doing to get to Max Kaplan, and all of them working on the Johnson Compromise. This thing like it, I don't think it. Uh, I don't think a white southerner is the man to unite this nation in this hour. And uh, I don't know who he is, and I don't even want that responsibility. But back to your question, uh, this probably ought to have told you about it. But I, I rather guess that anybody's entitled to know you are what I'm thinking. And I think that. Uh, some of them will charge you with cowardice, not wanting to face up to it. But uh, I'd just soon be charged with being a coward, being charged with being a thief, being charged with the uh, thing that they do say, and being a manipulator, and a conniver, and a spin test, all the things that they say every every call. I, I have tried and I, I've had doubts about whether a man born where I was born, raised like I was raised, could ever satisfy the northern Jews and Catholics and uh, Union people. And I think that he, I don't think you can do that. And I don't feel good about the, about throwing uh, Alabama out of Mississippi and making them take an oath nobody else take it. And, uh, it don't make me happy either. And I don't want to go back home and, uh, and have my people feel. I don't, want, I don't want to have to fight to carry Texas. I just don't want Texas to have to say yes to me anymore. I've, I've, I've asked them the last time I want to ask them. And if you don't know how that feels, well, you go out there and start asking a man to please give you a quarter for a cup of coffee. So I would say to them that uh, you're not going to call me because I told you last night that I thought it'd be best. Uh, uh, people were talking that uh, the, all these folks were calling in. The paper said this morning Governor Lawrence picked up the phone. That's all untrue. But I think that they're men of wisdom, and this is their party. And I really honestly just say uh, he believes that all of you got more at stake than he has. And. Uh, he has great respect for these people, so what I would suggest is that you get them in together this morning. They ought to be meeting all day and thinking about approaches. And I'd suggest you get them all in and talk to them about it. And then 
uh, get the consensus there, and then uh, get another group of five, and then you can, John can go and talk to Sanders and some of them. But I just don't want Bill Moyer to call me up and say, Sanders says that he's going to walk. Because I don't give a goddamn whether he walks. But that would be the answer to the question that you called when you raised. And I would give it my best judgment that they will not win on a minority report of Greens. I do not believe that you can breed the Chicago and New York and Massachusetts uh, to, and I, I rather think that this Freedom Party was born in the Justice Department. I, I don't agree with you on not winning the Well, maybe not. I don't know the votes. You all know, but I just, uh, I know the issues, and I just don't believe that you can ever carry a beer election in Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> it's a prohibition town, and I just don't believe it is. Uh, to talk to John Bailey's one, I just believe there's so much hatred of Mississippi that nobody's really going to want to get on a roll call with them. And I think they'll run just like quail. When you David Lance called me just uh, before we started talking and uh, said that he had heard what the state coordinator had given him as the figure for New Jersey on this. And he said that figure's true. And the governor and I will both resign. I said, if we can't do better than that for our president, then we ought to be here and say that we can. So you just tell him I don't need to, because I don't want to. I really, I, I do not believe, Walter, that I can physically uh, and mentally. I go on and had a couple of nervous breakdowns. I don't want to be in this place like Wilson. And I, don't not, I do not believe I can physically and mentally. Uh, carry the responsibilities of the bomb and uh, the world and uh, the Negroes and uh, the South and so on and so forth. Now uh, they're younger men and, and better prepared men and better trained men and Harvard uh, uh, educated men and, and uh, I know my own limitations and I just don't believe that I have the, the physical and mental strength to carry it. And I, I, I take the time to make that decisions while they're there, and not after they go home. And I thought about it a good deal this morning. And I have read the statement in 20 years, but I'm just getting ready to write this one. I just got one more sentence on it, and I told them to have a helicopter stand by, and I'll decide uh, during the lunch hour I'm going to meet with the Security Council. Decide during the lunch hour what to do about it, and, and either come on up there or call in the press conference here. You have any uh, any idea which would be better from your vantage point? I would. Uh, from my standpoint, it'd be better here because uh, uh, you don't have to uh, don't have to uh, go through any of the handshaking. Fall to roar. Uh, on the other hand, you kind of hate for your managers, you know, the folks in the far you'd hear it through the press. And, uh, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I told you that. What uh, I think it will be. Bird thought that I ought to go up there because uh, um, it wasn't quite right to hold them up this long and have everybody guessing. I think I've got to decide on the vice president today because I'm just being interviewed every 10 minutes and that's the whole thing. It's undignified. You know. I know, but I'm not, I'm not going to go through with him four years if I had to.